o'clock, one of the most common childhood illnesses is strep. If you're a parent, you know what I'm talking about. It keeps kids home from school, fills up doctor's offices. Strep throat is highly contagious. It can spread quickly when groups of people are in close quarters. Joining us now with more on this from Children's Hospital, Dr. Amit Patel, and great to have you here, first of all, doctor. Um, it's coming. School's back in session, so you know you're going to start seeing some more cases. So how does this spread, first of all? Usually through respiratory droplets, so sneezing, coughing, eating after somebody are common routes that it'll spread. So it kind of goes back to cover your mouth, uh, just tell your kids if something like that, make sure, keep your hands clean, some ways to kind of prevent the spread of some of this. But what are some of the signs? Because this isn't like, when you, when you think of strep throat, you think, okay, it's a sore throat. But, but there's more to it than just that. It's a little more severe, that's yeah. correct. So typically you'll have fever, headache, stomach ache, and then the sore throat on top of it. Uh, when you look in the mouth, sometimes you'll see red spots in the mm -hmm. back of the throat, which is common, and sometimes the tonsils will have uh, exudate on them as well. So obviously this is something if you sense your child has strep or maybe if you have strep, you need to go see the doctor. Yes, because you're going to need a course of antibiotics. It's yeah. very important that you finish the course because the complications of strep can be quite severe. Yeah, I was going to say because sometimes, you know, you'll, you'll start to giving your medication to, to your child and they'll start feeling better and they're bouncing off the walls. But if there's still medication in the bottle, you need to go ahead and use it all up because I guess what, it can come back if it's not Correct. completely knocked out, right? Yes, sir. And then obviously then they can, I mean, as far as the, the being contagious, I mean, I, I, is there a... I mean, as soon as you get it, uh, is, there, is there a time frame where you need to be careful or after work and they still spread it? How does that? Right. Untreated, they can spread for a, probably a couple of weeks. Okay. But once you start treatment after 24 hours, typically the, the rate of spreading will decrease. Okay. Good stuff. Um, as far as taking care of it then at home, what, what, what kind of things, what, what do we need to be thinking of here? Is a lot of liquids? What, what's... Yeah, definitely need to yeah. push fluids, uh, avoid sodas, avoid uh, acidic drinks like orange juice. Uh, but, you know, you can try hot tea, not tea, but hot cocoa, mm -hmm. stuff like that, warm, warm drinks, warm milk, uh, maybe some popsicles, stuff like that. Okay, okay. Things that are good. Yes. <laughs> Here's your chance to have a popsicle <laughs> and not, 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 not have to argue about it. Anything else we need to know about this? Like I said, it is very highly contagious, and, and, and adults, we can get it from our kids just as easy. Absolutely. And, and I know as an adult, if you get it, you, you don't want it either. I mean, it can be pretty bad. Right. Yeah. So, so I mean, as far as the contagious level spreading it around, I mean, it's just, should you, if, if, there, if there's other kids in the household, Say go to the other side of the house, uh, stay away from Junior here, or you keep right. him in the bonus until, room? Or? Until you can start treatment, yeah. you want to try to keep them separated, so yeah. the less risk of transmission. Okay, definitely. Doctor, I appreciate it as always. Hopefully it won't be too bad this year, but hey, we all know. Absolutely. <laughs> it could be. If you have any questions about your child's health uh, that you would like answered, uh, take a moment, email at ltucker at wat.com, and then tune into Channel 6 every Thursday at 4 o'clock to see if we answer any of your questions on the air.